We've spent a lot of time covering the HTC One, and for several weeks it's been at the top of PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings. That said, we love the color choices, and when a new color comes in, we like to do reviews and pictures and more, because that's what we do here at PhoneDog. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com. Like I said, we've seen the silver. Now it's time to take a quick look at the black HTC One. I work in wireless for a living and have been doing it for 10 years, so very rarely am I blown away. And you know that if I'm blown away by something, it's probably a major thing. One of the few things I've been blown away by, the color on this HTC One. I love the black unit, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we saw the silver one, which you can see right here, for a long time before we saw the black one. Now both were shown off at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona earlier in the year, and the black one we knew it was coming, but because of supply issues, the silver one kind of made its way through way before the black one did. But it's finally available, and has been available for a couple of weeks, but you can pick this up at AT&T or Sprint. I believe T-Mobile is still exclusively selling the silver one, and that's the only one you can get through them. But this is the black HTC One, and I'm doing a quick review to show you the differences between this and the silver version. It is absolutely gorgeous. It exudes the same high and build quality and premium feel that the silver one does. But for me, and this is very much personal preference, I find that the black one exudes even more of a high-end look and feel than the silver one. Granted, this one has a metal look and feel to it, so immediately when people look, they're like, is that a metal smartphone? But what I like about this, the black combined with the fact that the display edges are also black, makes the display look a little bit larger than it actually is. Give you a recap here. 4.7 inch 1080p HD display, four ultra pixel camera on this device. You've got a 1.7 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 600 CPU, Android 4.1.2 with HTC Sense version 5 on this device. So specs wise, software wise, running the exact same stuff as the silver version. That said, the Google one actually came out today, the Google Play or Google Experience device, excuse me, came out as of just a few minutes ago on the Google Play Store. So if you want the stock Android version, you can pick that up, but the black is gorgeous. And like I said, take a look at it in comparison to this, where obviously the display completely juxtaposes the metal. So you got black and then silver. Over here it's black and it kind of flows a little bit better for my personal tastes over onto the display from the black color. But you're gonna see the sides as well here, and you'll notice that they're black also as you would expect. You got kind of a black and black, or I should say maybe a black and dark gray tone over here. Whereas on this one you got the gray slash metal, and then kind of a white color scheme going on. The sides on this one are white. It's a little bit more two-toned than this one. I should say both are two-toned, but it's a little bit more noticeable on the gray one than it is on the black one. So color-wise, personal preference, like I said, but take a look here, just comparing these side by side, and take a look at the gallery if you're watching this on the site at phonedog.com. We'll have a full photo gallery just below this video, so be sure to check it out as well. But you can see again what I'm talking about here. Silver with white, and then over here it's black, and then that's dark gray, but it fades in a little bit easier, a little bit better into the black on the sides and the black paint scheme. So again, here's how it looks. Bottom, micro USB charging port. Over here, micro SIM card slot. Volume rocker over here on the right side. And actually, unfortunately, I dented this one to the point where it doesn't work. You can see I dropped it on a piece of metal the other day. The volume rocker is totally destroyed on the silver one. So very, very sad day. And here's what it looks like with a couple of dents in it. And obviously this massive dent that I did when I dropped it in metal. And obviously that's something to keep in mind with the black one. Because of that, obviously being black, it's going to be a little bit more prone to scratches, a little bit more prone to dents, and things like that. So be sure to put this in a case, either perhaps the HTC Double Dip or Double Dip Flip Case. Take a look at those and see which one tickles your fancy and fits your personal style. But here's what it looks like with the screen powered on. Like I said, Sense 5, AT&T stuff. This is the AT&T unit with 4G LTE connectivity, and you can see the AT&T applications out of the box. Drive mode, family map, locker, navigator. No real difference here. Obviously from the silver AT&T version we've taken extensive looks at but really, really nice paint scheme all around. And you can pick up the black. It's pretty well available through Best Buy, through AT&T, through Sprint, and through other channels. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more on the black HTC One. I'm on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker. But I will tell you this, the black is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And because of it coming out a little bit later than the silver, if you're eligible for an upgrade, this may be the unit to get just because a little bit less availability, a little bit more rare than the silver one, which has been out since the launch of the HTC One. So if you're somebody that likes to have that phone that fewer people have, or perhaps a color that fewer people have, this could be a unit for you. Not to mention, it's just gorgeous in black. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage on the black and silver HTC One. And as always, I'll see you next time.